Hey everyone, I'm uh, Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of my favorite floor plans from one of my favorite manufacturers with a little twist on it. This is a 2022 Jayco Greyhawk Model 30Z relative to the Integra Odyssey 30Z. There is some differences about it and I'm super excited to show you, but the most important thing is that the floor plan's the exact same. We are gonna take a look at some of the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Jayco Greyhawk and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be showing you this Greyhawk. And again, in this video, we will be going over differences between Integra and Jayco Odyssey first Greyhawk. So it's gonna be a great educational video at the same time. Before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going? It's going good. I'm excited too because I want to see the differences between a Greyhawk and Integra. And Andrea, guess where this unit's going to be in about a week or two? At the Tampa RV Show. Yes ma'am, this is the Tampa Show unit. So not only will we be able to review it, you guys will actually be able to see this unit in just a couple weeks at the Tampa Show and we're super excited and we hope to see each and every single one of you guys at the Tampa Show. Andrea, let's begin! Model is Jayco Greyhawk 30Z. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 32 feet 6 inches. This is the Jayco Greyhawk. Um, they have for Integras. So here's how it goes Integras have Odyssey's Esteems, Jayco's have Red Hawks, Greyhawks, Greyhawk Prestiges. And so a Red Hawk's here, an Odyssey's here, a Greyhawk's here. Uh, the steam is there. And then a Greyhawk Prestige is there. But they're, they're two, three thousand dollar differences, not much. Up front here, Andre, we do have a nice seamless fiberglass front cap. What I mean when I say that is the seams actually underneath there, not, not on the stress point, so it's a lot less likely to leak that way. One of the major differences between the Jayco's and the Integra's is that there is no front windshield up there, okay? When you get to the Jayhawk, the Greyhawk, prestige you do have a windshield but then you can't get a 30z floor plane you know what i'm saying this is powered on the all-new e450 chassis it does have the 7.3 liter v8 it is the godzilla engine 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque and then look at these tires and hand cooks Dynapros. i love those lt 225-75 r16 with the shiny rims right there. Coming on down the side here, we do have chrome mirrors. Left side and right side with cameras integrated in the mirrors. Also, check this out. You have a very nice running board right there, making it easier to get in and out of the RV, okay? Very nice. Whoa, look at that automatic door. <laughs> very nice power awning, Andrea, with LED lights. Greyhawk, frameless windows, okay? And because of the Jayco, it does have the two-year warranty, three-year structural. Also, because of the Jayco, this has the J-Ride Plus. Now, the J-Ride Plus is similar to the Easy Ride Elite system. It's a computer balanced drive shaft, Coney shocks, heavy-duty rear stabilizer bars, standard front stabilizer bars, Helwig's helper spring, uh, Helwig helper springs, and rubber isolated mounts. And Jen, if you could put everything that is included right there. That's the difference, that's the J-Ride Plus making it, so the Integra 30Z, you would get the Easy Drive, not the Easy Drive Elite. The Greyhawk is the J-Ride, not the J-Ride, the J-Ride Plus. Am I sounding okay, Andrea? It's a little confusing. I'm so sorry, America. Come find us at the show and we'll explain it better. But also something that you get with the Greyhawk that you don't get with the Integra Odyssey is the slam latch doors. Love Outside that. Side speakers. Propane here. Bing! There's all the specifications about this motor home. You know, one of my biggest pet peeves, here's your water heater, with the Integra Odyssey is that it doesn't have slam latch doors. It has those little twisty doors. As Andrea said, speakers on the outside here. 
Here's more storage. You got a propane quick connect oh, there. Yeah. If you want to have a grill and look at this really oh, nice wow. storage. That's great. You're able to get that type of storage, Andrea, because of the slide out system at the rear. It is a north to side out slide out, but guess what you don't get? What's that, a ladder? No ladder for the roof on this wow. one. But Andrea, there is a Jayco right here. I'm gonna climb up on this ladder to show you what the features has on that roof. Oh, okay. Let's go up there and take a look. Hold on, Matt. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece fiberglass roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. Wine guard antenna right there. And you can see that there is solar on the roof. Hold on. Here we go now. Last step. Cool. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What RV salesman's gonna climb up on a Red Hawk to show you the features that's on a Gray Hawk? Nobody. Nobody. And Matt, we did forget to mention that there is a place for your stinky slinky here in the bumper. Nice bumper for your stinky slinky. 7,500 wow. pound hitch. This motorhome can tow that. I never recommend that. Don't go over 5,000 pounds, folks. Oh, this is nice. Look at the, I like mm. that. Great storage. I like that they give you this rear entry storage door. And then here's your backup camera here. Wow. Okay. Perfect. Coming around to the driver's side, Andrea. Right Other here. Side? Yes, ma'am. Nice Sam latch doors. Fuel fill up. It's where you dump your black and gray tank. Black tank flush, city water, outdoor shower, potable water fill. Potable, potable. We haven't said that in a while. Yes, ma'am. Right here. More storage. 30 amp. Two AC units, 30 amp. They're two 11K AC units. More storage. Yes, ma'am. And your Onan 4000 generator right there. Great. I love that it's vented. Yes. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Greyhawk looks fantastic, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right, Matt, don't forget our cargo carrying capacity. 1,238 pounds. Nice. Okay. Oh, slide is in. Oh my goodness. I just love Class C's with their walkways. Yes. Look at this. This is amazing. So I'm walking through with no problem at all. Um, oh, good. And you can use the bed with the slide in. That's good. Here is the bathroom. Wow, look at that. And Andrea, while the slide outs are coming out, would like to give a quick moment to thank the sponsor of this episode, RV Life. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular Trip Planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline so so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Great, so Andrea, let's get started up front here in this cockpit area. Now, first and foremost, I am going to get this baby started. Cause it's a little hot here. The sun creeped out today at Tampa, guys, and we're getting a little heated up. The new 7.3 liter V8 power windows right here. Power adjustable mirrors, okay? You can see I can adjust them to make it perfect. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Also, you can see left side and right side and the reverse side. 
Andre, would you like to sit in my co-captain's seat? Sure. Right here, there is cup holders. And again, guys, this is the new steering wheel, the new chassis and everything, very, very nice. How do you feel? It's nice. I got plenty of space. Yep. You know, it's comfortable. It's a class C. It's yeah. Com yeah, I mean, it, it kind of is what it is. It's not intimidating. Right, and that's what I really do like about the uh, Integris is that it's not intimidating. You got your backup camera there, not camera, um, backup mirror. And I did say Integra, I meant Jayco. So coming up here. And, oh, Matt, we did forget that those seats do swivel. Yes, ma'am, they do. Also, does have a bunk over the cab. Andrea, it holds 750 pounds. I love that. It folds in so two people can sleep up there. And then Andrea, there's this netting here so nobody rolls out. There's also a privacy curtain, but guess what's not up here? I don't see a TV. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'll show you guys where that TV is in just a second. But first, we got a dinette, okay? Now, Andrea, people are gonna see this video in about three weeks from now, two weeks from now. But last night we had another Integra video on and people were blowing up the comments yes. saying no piano hinges. So guys, I want you to do it again, this time to Jayco. Hashtag. If there's no piano hinges, give them hell. <laughs> Let them know. Okay, you ready? Let's see. And yes, this dinette does drop down to make a bed, everybody. Oh. And womp womp. womp What's womp. going on? You know, like, it's just so easy to do. It is. I hate that. And I don't need a piano hitch. Give me a pull out like that. Right. Give me something. Okay, farmhouse look, balances, okay. What is nice about this table though, it is a big table and it does drop down to make a bed, okay? Also, you are getting these privacy shades, which is the slow rise shades, which I like that. You know, it's a lot better than those accordion styles. I think Integra does that. They do. The, yeah, but yeah, no, a lot better feature. And again, guys, a price difference between a Greyhawk and an Odyssey is two, three, four, five thousand dollars. It's little things like that that keep adding up. That um, that's where it is the difference. Yeah, that's where the yeah. And again, neither one's better than the other. So over here, Andrea, look at this. Nice storage above. Okay, very nice. Storage there. Nice lights right there. And then look at this optional theater seats. Remote holder there, cup holder there. <laughs> you got this kicking back, Andre, one of the best floor plans. And look at that. Wow. So you wanna know what's crazy? No other manufacturer is making this floor plan except Integra and Jayco. I like that. I'm looking, I'm sitting there looking directly across at it. I like the I like the dark colors over here. I think I've said that before. Right, it like separates it from the kitchen to the living room. And it's a really good size TV too. Insignia, huge TV, one of the biggest, the biggest TV in the class C market. A Little bit of storage there. And then Andre, look at that. 40 inch fireplace. What is great about that fireplace, it does produce heat from electricity. So you don't need to burn through all your propane. And we even got a nice mirror here. Now, Andrea hates the farmhouse balances, but don't you like this? Yeah, it's cute. Right, it, right. It goes. So it's pros and cons. Interesting already. I love it. Okay, so look at this cabinet up here. Okay. We've got a shelf. we got a window here. Yeah. Okay, with the shade. We've got a tower of power. Hey, that's a nice tower of power. And then wait, wait. Oh, there's cabinets over there. Yes, ma'am. And then look at this. Uh, the exterior lights, you, you can actually dim them down. I like that. You see that? I've never seen that before. Yeah. Sorry, Andrea. Okay, we have a double sink here. Yes. Solid surface countertop, very, very pretty. I love the LED lights going around the countertop. Yes, and one last thing, there is auto levelers on this. Nice. We have two drawers here. Yes. And then Matt, we have some more drawers right here. Show me. Four. Okay, another uh, cabinet up there. Nice. We've got a microwave. Regular, traditional, yes ma'am. And then we got a three burner propane Furion cooktop. Yes ma'am. Runs off your propane. And then, uh, oh, we got an oven. Hey now. And we've got the two way refrigerator, okay. everybody. Runs off propane and shore power. Good size. Good size. Um, I don't see a pantry. No pantry. Unless you use part of this. Right, show us. 
You know what? I Which would I guess you yeah. could, yeah. I mean, you, you would know, have to. These Class Cs, you know, 32 feet, 6 inches. Right. Sounds long, but, you know, you got to make do with what you can. Uh, okay, so as you're coming into here, there is a sliding door right here. Pull it out, baby. Oh. Oh. Let's see if I can reach. Oh, it's really. No, it's just like this. Stop, stop. Got it. Oh, gosh. Yep. I, I always have trouble with the simplest things. Matt. Yep, look, you get that you're doing it wrong, yeah. Oh yeah, we have one of these at home, don't we? Look at that! See, guys? I like how it's a real door and not an accordion. Yeah, it was easy. <laughs> easy when you know what you're doing. Right. Okay. Now, this, it, it is interesting because it's separate. You know, you got your separate bathroom here. Yeah, show that right there. Medicine oh. cabinet. You got a medicine cabinet here. Yep. Then we got the cute little sink. And then we've got more cabinets underneath the sink. And guys, I was looking at this door. That's why I was distracted. Yep. So I love that. I love that they gave you these doors instead of like that door coming out, hitting a magnet yeah. like it normally would. No, I'm pretty I confident. Like that. I'm pretty confident that's what they did last time. Like this door had to be open. So yeah. I like that because this way, so check it out. Somebody could be in the bathroom right. and you can still walk through. Exactly. Love that. Love that. Check out the shower. This is... It's a 36 by 24. Okay, not the biggest one, um, but it definitely does well. And Andrea. Hmm, I don't know about that toilet. I Matt. don't know. I see a shine. I see it. I but see I also it. see some plastic there. I, I see it too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Plastic. Womp womp. Womp womp. Jayco! <laughs> What's going on? Why are you giving me a plastic toilet in here? It's a sad day. <laughs> okay. Oh, Matt is still in shock right now. What? Other than that, it's a. I think it's a good size. All right, going into the master bedroom here. Like I said, we have that sliding door <laughs> right here. And then we do have a north and south bed. Yes. And Matt, we have more, oh, we have a wardrobe here. Yes, ma'am. And then we have three look, look, look up there, open that again. Look, you kind of, look at that. Pull what? that out. What the is The top it? part. Oh, hanging stuff? Yes. Oh, okay. I like that. I'm so glad they gave you that instead of a porcelain toilet. <laughs> we have three drawers. Yes, yes. Okay, very interesting setup. Um, we got a wardrobe over there, or with yes. the shelves, not a wardrobe. Now look, cabinet. I look a little taller because I have a nice step up. There is storage under my feet from the outside. We got this right there. And let me show this. There's a little shelf back here. Yep. And then your TV's up here. TV, yep, second AC unit. And then there is a another cabinet here of shelves and then you got a nightstand over here which yes. is nice with the electrical outlet yes and again andrea overall i love the 30z i love what they do oops let me uh check to see if there's storage underneath the bed nope 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 no storage. but again guys it's because the awesome storage on the outside and andrea everybody's dying to know what the msrp is going to be on this unit and we will tell everybody in just a moment but first it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Bathroom. Yes. Toilet. Definitely. What the heck is that? I have no idea. I, Una I'm, in, I'm in shock. Unacceptable. Now guys, if you guys come find me at the Tampa show, before you buy this unit, you must stop by and see us first. If you buy this unit and you stop by and see us first, I will make sure they switch that out with a porcelain toilet. <laughs> but again, guys, don't buy this and then say, well, Matt said we throw in a porcelain toilet. No, you must find me before the Tampa show or contact me anytime because I need to tell the sales manager that we're putting it in the deal. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we will definitely get you a porcelain toilet. But again, find me first before you buy this and we'll make that happen. Andrea, that is dislike number one. Believe it or not, that should be number one, two, and three if you ask me. Andrea, dislike number two? You 
know I don't have very many dislikes. I know, and I, I hate and sound I, like a broken and, record. And I, I don't like sound like a broken record, you guys, but I'm gonna say it every time. Talk to me. I, I can't stand seeing the balances anymore. Andrea, we like the farmhouse. I, I like the farmhouse. I like the furniture. I love this, I love Integra, I love Jayco both, okay? They're yep. both great quality RVs. But I know everybody wants to see something different too as well. Okay, you guys can keep the cabinets. <laughs> you guys can keep the furniture. Change the balances. Yes. That's what Andrea wants. Yes. And not, not, not just, just Andrea. <laughs> the people. The people agree. So Andrea, I'll give it to you. That's number two. And then number three, every day, just like the balances, give us piano hinges. Give us a pullout under the sofa. Give us something that we can easily access the storage underneath. Because that cheap little plywood's not going to cut it. Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Andrea, now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Andrea, would you like to go first? Because you're standing in my number one. I am going to go first. Talk to me. What I really love about this motorhome is when you walked in with the slide in, you still had so much space to walk in. Yes. Through, and you could still use, what, 98% of your RV without yes. the slide out? A lot of it. You certainly so, can. Not only that, Andrea. This is the only Class C that gives you like a middle living room. And it's the only Class C that kind of gives you like a kitchen, a living yes. room, a bathroom, and a bedroom. I absolutely love that. I love the layout. The way they did this layout is so well designed and that's just a huge feature for me. So that's number one. Number two, Andrea, here's what I'm gonna say. We always love the bunk over the cab. We always love the seamless fiberglass front cab that holds 750 pounds. I, I much prefer the windshield from Integra, but I will say I do love the fact that it gives you the slam latch doors on the outside, not those little twisty doors to the outside. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It is just storage. It's, it's one of my dislikes about the Odysseys, but something that I do love about the Greyhawk. And with this unit, Andrea, there's going to be pros and cons. They're both excellent. That's number two, and then Andre is raising her hand. I have to say this because I know it's little, but I'm really excited about these doors. Andrea, no, that is a huge. There's nothing little about I, it. I, I swear, love that. I think the the door used to come out, and there was like a magnet. I could, I, I, I would almost bet a dollar on it. And a lot of times, and you would see not maybe not in the Jayco and Tamara, but accordion doors. Yes, too. no, no, I'm the pretty fact sure. That doing this with these slide these sliding doors is awesome. Game breaker. And yes. you know what? I, I can almost promise you this. Listen, guys, you're going to hear this, and don't quote me. I am fine with a plastic toilet in place of those doors. Like, give me the doors and give me a plastic toilet, because you know why? Because I'm just going to buy an RV from Matt's RV Reviews. I'm going to talk to him <laughs> first, and then Matt's going to switch out the toilet to a porcelain toilet. And I swear to you, Andrea, there's going to be people that come to our, our tent. tent with a folder and they're going to say, well, Matt, time for you to put a porcelain toilet in this unit. I'm going to say, no, sir. We appreciate your business, but you didn't talk to me first. You guys, you must talk to, find me, find Andrea, talk to us first. Yes. So we can tell the sales managers. So they can put it in the deal. They, it's not just about putting it in the deal. It's that way they can track Matt's RV review sales. Right. So they know whether to hire us or fire us. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, guys. Hashtag keeping it real. Andrea. Do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. MSRP on this unit here is $154,649. Andrea, MSRP. Sale price. We can't tell you the sale price because it's the current 2022. But Andrea, as I said earlier, this unit's going to be at the Tampa RV show and it's going to be a phenomenal price. But again, stop by the Matt's RV Reviews 10. It is in the Jayco display. If you want to buy this unit, come find us. Don't worry, we'll take care of the salesperson there. But we're going to go to our management team and let them know that you are a viewer of the show and we're going to help you get you a phenomenal price on our Jayco Integra, Newmar, Tiffin, Holiday Rambler, Fleetwood, Fleetwood. everything. <laughs> yes. So if you guys are coming to the Tampa show, make sure you see us. Or if you're watching this in the future, we love it. Always go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab, and we are here to help you. Andrea, what do you want to say to America? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Jayco will be reading the comments. Yep. So everybody, make sure you put in there about the piano hinges. Yes. Um, 
I hope everybody's safe and well, and also come see us at the Tampa RV Show, January 19th through the 23rd. And again, guys, not just the piano hinges, let Jayco know three things you love about it, yes. three things you dislike about it. And again, super excited to start this partnership with RV Life. Free seven week trial, free seven day trial, and 25% off by using Matt's RV Reviews promo code. Thank, Thank you, you so RV much to them. Thank you so much to everybody for watching, and Andrea, we'll see you next time!